guys? RTL here. And today I'll be giving you all the patch notes of 8.15. I'm going to do a, uh, a brief rundown of it. Give you all a little bit about top, mid, jungle, ED carry support. and But really try to focus on Renekton, obviously. Because, you know, that's my champion. Alright, well let's get down to the nitty gritty. First things first, I'm going to go over bot lane. Okay, so first thing I have bot lane is guys, Thresh got buffed. He was probably the only thing in bot lane that actually got buffed when it comes down to supports. Um, let's look at Thresh real quick. So, I've been talking about how there's a lot of champions that are very similar to Thresh, but they just do it better. Like, I feel like Pike does Thresh better. I feel like Rakan does Thresh better. All these kind of supports, they have a similar style, but just do it better than Thresh. I've brought it up in the past. And now they're finally going to do something about it. Riot actually buffed uh, Thresh. They made his uh, cooldown on his W much shorter. So now, like, if you buff the W early on, guys, you can actually engage on there much faster uh, by a jungler gank or whatever. So that's pretty cool for Thresh players. Um, also his E. They made his E damage a tad bit more. Like I said, he needed a buff. He got the buff. So good for Thresh. Um, and what they really did too as well, which I wish they included Pike. I really did. Because I've been telling y'all, Fiddlesticks, Morgana, and Pike are really strong. And Rakan, but they nerfed Rakan a little bit last patch. They so might need a little bit more, but we'll see. I mean, we'll disregard that. The big thing is, though, Fiddlesticks and Morgana. So Fiddlesticks, what they did to him, guys, was they made his E cost more. Because they just spam the E, guys, and it does a ton of damage on, uh, on Fiddlesticks. So they try to tone that down a little bit, especially in the early game, because that damage is quite hefty. I mean, I know me, if I play with an 80 carry, um, and I'm going to see range, guys, it feels like Fiddlesticks is carrying the lane insanely hard. It's like, okay, well, sweet. I got a free lane. This is dope. They changed that. <laughs> they definitely changed that. Um, they also reduced the base damage as well on his E. So I think that was really needed. Also, Morgana. Okay, Morgana is aid for Renekton to go up against because of her spell shield. You know, I try to do a full combo on somebody. Boom, she spell shields her ass. There you go. It's not going to happen. Well, they made it to where her mana cost... Um, they made it where she gets to less mana over time. So she can't just spam her abilities in lane, like her Q, her W, and then obviously her E as well. Um, but they also kind of made the cost of his E more expensive. So now if, like, Thresh don't want to hook, you better know it's don't hook on that guy because it costs quite a bit of mana to cost that E. You know, E is quite a bit. So um, we'll see what that does. I still think it's something, though. They're you know, doing something about bot lane. All these really strong supports and all the weaker supports who get no play. Hopefully they start getting some play now, you know, a little bit. Um... The only D carry that was really affected um, when it comes down to everything, just straight up the champion, is Quinn. Um, as you guys know, Quinn was really, really strong to deal with. Really hard to deal with. He actually recently started coming to meta. I feel like he wasn't really changed much in 8.14 at all. But people started realizing how strong Quinn was and started playing him. And so Riot quickly said, hey, that's not going to work. We're going to tone him down a bit. Um, obviously, Quinn has the highest win rate for top, mid, and ADC for the last patch. That's insane. That's insane. An 80 carry with the highest win rate top lane. An 80 carry with the highest win rate mid lane. And then obviously in the bottom lane, that's just ridiculous. So the armor, 32, 28. That's just pretty big. It's a lot of armor. Definitely going to hurt his landing phase quite a bit. And then off of his Harrier. So like every time he um, just gets the Harrier product, a little circle thing on your face, guys. They made the damage a little bit less, which obviously was really needed. Especially in laning phase. I feel like this is really a laning phase nerf for Quinn. Because he's so dominant in laning phase. And then once you get out of laning phase, he's roaming all across the map with probably a killer too because of how strong he is in laning phase. And it's just so hard to deal with. Um, so they're toning it down a little bit. I like it. It's definitely needed. Um, now, when it comes down to 80 carries in general, um, their items, they actually changed them a lot. So what it looks like to me, what they're doing with the 80 carries is they're making it where um, the items are cheaper, but they're also a little bit weaker. Okay, so I've been telling you guys that AD carries are very, very strong late game, but their early game is really weak. Riot's been trying to change that. Last patch, they made Jinx's base health and Twitch health pretty high, which I think is a little over buffed, and I really expect them to see a lot of play this patch. I really do. I don't know why they weren't seeing... They were seeing some play. They're starting to gradually gain that momentum. I think this patch, the Twitch, especially Jinx, is going to be played a lot now. I really do expect that. Um, but either way though, let's go over the items real quick. I.e. again, 36, 34, Storm Razor, it's 32 to 28. Again, making it cheaper so they get their spike a little bit faster. Again, I don't mind that too much. Um, they made him not as strong late game, but AD carry is going to strong late game regardless. So, um, what has me worried is not so much these two items, but really look at the zeal items. They made every single one of them 100 gold cheaper. So, I remember about, uh... It might have been two patches ago, three patches ago. I'm not sure. This is when AD carry stopped being played, obviously, because it was just too expensive. 
they uh, they raise the cost of these items by a good what uh, 200 gold each of these items they didn't get stronger just 200 extra gold so they want to tone that down a little bit i mean i see what they're doing um, well let's not make it too crazy <laughs> i don't want any carries being disgusting because it looks like jinx and twitch are going to be very very happy this patch honestly i'm, I'm pretty nervous about that i really am they're, they're a pretty strong late game and they're hyper carries for sure which could obviously bring back the Lulu supports, the Janna supports, and all that. And I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it as a reacting main. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Okay. Anyways. Um, next thing, guys. We're going to go over... Oh, support items. What about that? Oh, my God. What is wrong with me, RTO? Support items. Okay, so this is funny. They made 350 to 400 gold, so obviously supports can't just buy three pots and just keep on poking people out. I get what they're doing, but Riot does not realize this. They're affecting... Coin, Renekton, top lane. Bank, Nectin, they're affecting it. So, yikes, I might never get to play that again. I probably still will. I probably still will. We'll see. No, I'm just kidding. Just JK, JK. I think I'm going to retire, at least for this patch, guys. At least for this patch, I might just retire the uh, support item top lane. I mean, it wasn't really good anyways. It's not meta, and you guys should not be using it. But, y'all know me. I'm a troll sometimes. I can't help it. I can't help it. <laughs> All right, so mid. Mid, nothing really changed that much. Items-wise, nothing really changed. They just buffed two champions. Eh, you know, I'm fine with that. I'm cool with this. The two champions are Fizz. So I thought last patch, I really did. I thought last patch Fizz got a buff. Turns out it really wasn't. It wasn't really what Fizz needed. So they ended up buffing him very, very hard this patch. Um, I told you guys last patch, though, that I was worried about Fizz getting strong. And this might get him there. I know this patch, he's weak. He's very, very weak. Not being played and when he is played, he ends. I've seen that. I've really seen that this patch. So they're really trying to buff him very, very hard this patch. This is a pretty big buff. Really huge buff. So, I mean, we'll see what happens with Fizz, guys. But I expect to see Fizz a lot more now. A lot more. Um, again, because Fizz, if he gets really strong, it's it's really hard. It's really hard. He's a very strong assassin when he gets big because he has so much ways to, like, does his damage and then bounces out. And it's just like, bruh. Bruh. So, I know if he lands an R already, he kills an AD carry instantly. So... Yikes. But if they bring back the whole shield metal again, meta again, then, I mean, it won't matter as much, right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, also, the other champion that got buffed was, where is he? Sandra. Sandra got a Q buff. Um, so, people know Sandra. I haven't really seen her that much. When I do, I don't think she's that bad, but I guess I don't see her that much. Um, the Q buff on her, though, 50 to 70, but it evens out late game, so it's about 230. So, they just want to make her a little stronger early game, which is what she was supposed to be in the first place. She's supposed to be an early game uh, mid lane mage, and I guess she really didn't have that damage to really amplify her early game to where other mid laners that scale way harder are able to get going. Um, yeah, so they tried to buy for Q, make her more of a lane bully, which I guess I'm fine with. But again, we'll see what happens. Not a mid main, but we'll see what happens. So, jungle. Jungle actually changed quite a bit this patch. Quite a bit. Um, I'm going to go over the champions first and then go over why it changed so much and what's going to really affect in the game itself. Um, so first, Lee Sin buffed. I put question marks there because I really don't understand this. Um, so base damage, it got lowered a little bit. Okay, it got lowered a tad bit. Um, damage ratio got amped up a little bit. So pretty much even itself out in the grand scheme of things. Um, so the execute thing, this is what has me confused. I think it's a buff. I mean, I believe it's a buff, but I've been wrong in the past. So no longer deals 8% targets missing health. Now it deals up to 100% of targets increased health. Increased health. So... Does that mean health that they, not their base health, but any health they got afterwards? So I guess it helps kill tanks more. I don't really understand it. I really don't. So, again, we'll see. I think it's probably better versus tanks. Again, I don't know. I really don't know. I believe this is a buff because of the change. I think it's a buff, but I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, guys. We'll see. I, I think it's a buff. I really do. Don't don't go, RTO, it's a nerf. What the hell? I'm like, but I think it's a buff. I don't know, so... I'm going to stay away from that. Uh, Lee saying already, though, they recently buffed him again in the past. Uh, and like I said, I, he needs it. He really needed it. Uh, I think he's in a good place right now. I truly do. A good Lee Sin player can really dominate early game as is right now. So with this change as well, again, I don't know. Will he be played more? We'll see. There's some really strong junglers. As you guys know, I've been telling you all the Kindred, Talia, Graves. Those are like the top three junglers, in my opinion. They're really strong. They're ranged. Very hard ranking to deal with. So... I don't mind for the melee fucking genre to start coming back. I really don't mind that. Trust me. As a reacting player, I love it. I love it. I love it. I need it. I need someone to dash off of. So uh, I don't mind this. I don't mind this at all. Um, obviously, Olaf as well. Um, Olaf, you can say it's more top lane jungle kind of thing because Olaf is played top lane sometimes. 
Um, but really though, W is attack speed, and attack speed means more of like jungle clear. So they clear the jungle a little bit faster. Um, that's what it looks like they're going for here. They bumped to 55, goes to 95%. Uh, you know, again, melee bruiser guy coming back in the meta. I'm cool with that. Um, kind of an annoying melee guy to deal with though, because you know, he bumps his ulti. Now it's like my stun doesn't work anymore. And he can just kind of run you down with his axes. Q, 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 running your ass down. So again, we'll see, we'll see. I really think range guys are still really, really strong. I don't know if this change is gonna really make Olaf booming back in the game again because of how good the Kindreds, Talia's, and all that are, so. Um, but look at the nerf though, guys. It is a Kindred. It is a Kindred. Kindred got nerfed. Um, again, I don't really, I think they're trying to nerf so he can't wave clear as well. That's what it looks like. Because Kindred's done as champion. He really shouldn't be that strong early game. He's more of like a champion supposed to scale infinitely into late game. Which is what they're going for here. And that's what they're trying to really do. 50%, 25%. And then they are made it a very, very long cooldown. Um, so. His wave clear gets a little hurt. But still, they're still Talia. And they're still Graves. Uh, I'm going to see what this does with Kindred. I've already told you guys. Kindred is very, very annoying to deal with. You know, even if like Kindred uh, isn't near you. Just having a mark on your head, you're like worried. Like, is that dude somewhere? Is he like coming for me right now? You don't know. And I know from my play style, if I see a kid with a mark on me, it's like, shit, dude. If I don't see him on the map, dude, I can't do a damn thing. Because I feel like he is literally on top of me trying to get that stack. And you don't want to give Kindred stacks. You give him stacks, he gets pretty disgusting. So, I'm cool with that. Trust me, I'm very cool with this. I'm very cool with this jungle change in this regard. Um, now, what I really want to get into in jungle, um, that's really going to change jungle from the grand scheme of things is this right here, jungle items. So, what they did, last patch, they tried to take away the whole, um, what's the word, guys? Uh, funnel strat, yes, funnel strat. Um, so they tried to take that away as much as they could. So they made it where junglers get 10 less gold unless their jungle items completely finish, which, gosh, that sucked for junglers. It really sucked for the normal jungle player trying to play Elise, trying to play Lee Sin, trying to play these champions. So when it comes down to going to lane and farm, they're hurting their team a lot. Just by shoving a lane in, if they're taking the CS, it's like, wow, that sucks. Really sucks for junglers. I'm glad they did this. I very much so am. It still keeps the funnel strat away, but at the same time, makes junglers, like, you know, those other players out there that play jungle mains, you know, it makes them more happy. And I, I agree with this change. I think it's a good change for the game. Um, so, you know, there's that. Yeah. It's a good change for the game. Again, the 10 gold less thing, take it away. Because it really does take it away. Junglers are not going to have more CS than a laner if they're just farming the jungle keeps. They're not, okay? And if they go overboard trying to take all their laners farm, well then now they have more CS than all their laners, now they get less money. So, you know what I'm saying? It keeps it them to where they're gonna get their camps and they might go one or two waves if they need to to help clear a wave or whatever. Not a big deal, I'm cool with it. Very, very cool with it. Um, so, now let's get to the top lane. Top lane, uh, so Akali is new. Akali is brand new. There's a brand new champion called Akali, guys. Y'all know that? Um, so for one of my changes, when it comes down to these champion reworks, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the rework idea of champions. Um, I have this friend, this Aatrox friend. He, uh, he was actually, his name was Beyonder Aatrox. Pretty cool dude. Pretty cool dude. I liked him. Um, and shape got changed. They changed Aatrox to a completely different kind of champion. They made Aatrox from a champion that's more auto attack based to now he's ability based. Legit. Aatrox now is ability based. hundred percent. So, it's a completely different change. It's a completely different champion. It's like, he quit the game. He's like, I can't play this game no more because my champion's completely different now. Um, so, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of reworks if it's hard reworks like that. Changes the whole basis of the champion. Um, so, but Akali is reworked. Um, I prefer if they just make a new champion in general. You know, instead of making these one tricks. Like, like myself, if they rework Renekton and said, okay, now, we're going to change it from an ability-based champion to an auto-attack-based champion. I'll be like... What the hell? Like, what am I going to do? Like, that's a completely different champion. I, I, I don't want to relearn a champion completely. That would just ruin my mojo as a player. Um, I would drop an elo on the side of the back. It's like, shit, I can't play this champion anymore. It's not the same. So it just kind of sucks for... And, and I don't know how Koli Mane's going to react to this. Um, they definitely made her a little different. And the differences are, like, her dashes, obviously her ulti dashes. Earlier, like, three dashes, and they charge up over time. Just keep getting those dashes, which she gets really, really strong when she has that. Um, but they tried to... Counter that though, she still has two dash on her ulti, and then now she has a skill shot on her dash, so we'll see. Again, we'll see. But a call in itself though, what makes her very interesting to me is the shroud thing. That has me worried. Um, her shroud, where you can't target on a turret like that, um, yikes. <laughs> yikes. And then it grows outward as well, so 
<laughs> that is scary, man. And a collie that's even remotely fed, or just if a collie's not even saying fed, if there's a point in the game where she's stronger than you, watch that just sounds so scary. If she's just a little bit stronger because maybe there's a spike in the game where you guys are going even and she just spikes at some point and she's stronger than you. Bro, she can just tower dive you because she can tower dive you, hit you, go right back on the shroud and take no turret aggro and just keep on doing that nonstop. That is super scary. So I want to see how this champion works out. Um, I don't know if it's going to be OP or really weak. I don't know yet. I got to look at the numbers. I got to see it in action. But hey, this is a champion. We will see how it works. Um, I looked at it on stream, the champion in general. Again, her Q, her, her dashes, her ulti, I have no issues with. It's the shroud that has me worried. Okay. That's going to be hard to balance as a Riot member. Because <laughs> you make her too weak, then really, okay, you have a Shroud, but what are you going to do? And then if she has, she's a little too strong, then now the Shroud is like, wow, you cannot deal with her at all because you can't even target her ass. So, um, Also, Irelia. So, we're going to Irelia right here. Um, they, I feel like they really try to make Irelia's early game better by making her base attack damage higher, her health a little bit higher, her passive is a little bit higher early on. Um, her Q got a little nerf. Again, they, they lowered the ranges on it, but they buffed her like base passives. So basically early game, especially like she's been struggling. She's really struggling in the early game because once she had that level three, most ships are struggling not really at that point. Unless she can somehow land her E and even then it's like an even fight. So trying to make it to where, okay, okay. We're going to try to make it where she can be stronger early on. Be able to match the other auto attack based champions by doing this. Um... So it should be interesting to see how this goes. Because I tell you, even the W, it doesn't scale anymore. Now it's just straight 50%. You know, but they lowered the ranges a tad bit. So they've made our late game a little bit worse in that regard because of this. A little bit. Not than like crazy. Because her Q is a little less damage. She's more focused on auto attacking rather than anything else. So again, we will see. We'll see. Her late game should be a little bit worse, not buying the crazy. And her early game should be a decent, a little bit better. I mean, you, you, you buff that base attack damage by 30. It's a quite a bit. Health by 30, that's quite a bit, especially level one. So uh, I really should be interesting. Should be very interesting to match up with. And I'm excited to see how it goes. I really am going to see how it goes in the top lane. See if she's going to come back in the meta again or is she still going to be nothing. I don't know. Because she's kind of, I haven't really seen her that much. I really stopped seeing her. I see her like once or twice a week, it feels like. so. Um, okay, well now let's get into Renekton. Renekton base. Um, obviously, there's one item that's got me very... I'm very excited. Very, very excited. <laughs> it's Essence Reaver. Essence Reaver. 70 to 75 attack damage. Okay, so Riot Games has changed Essence Reaver a lot. They made it to where it originally came out, guys. It was 70 attack damage, 20% CDR, 8 seconds of Earth Mode. I, that's why I call it. I call it Earth Mode because it's just insane. And a lot of champions were using it. A lot of champions. I saw Camille's using it. I saw Aurelia's using it. I saw Jax is using it. Renekton's using it. Um... When they made the change to six seconds, but buff the attack speed a little bit, um, a lot of champions like, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute, this is not what we want. Like we want the, uh, you know, that, that that huge ass eight seconds long. So I know a lot of Recton mains myself. You know, I know uh, I've seen Troll Necton, I've seen God Recton, I've seen a lot of the higher tier Recton mains. Um, not including myself, obviously. I still use Essence Reaver. I still use it, but uh, they stopped using the item. Because they're like, fuck, dude, I'd rather just go for more early game base with lethality and really try to storm roll. So, like, really late game doesn't even matter because we already won the game. And I get that. I understand. And that build is dope. You know, the Yumus, T-Mat, Yumus, Black Cleaver build rush. Oh, it's disgusting. Your early game is ridiculous. Um, I get that. But I've always been playing for the mid game as of late. Even though SV got changed to six seconds, I haven't really... It hasn't hurt me to that crazy extent. I still feel like my dueling potential is really high when I have Essence Reaver. Team fights, I feel like six seconds is long enough to really crush a team, in my opinion. Um, but I do feel you guys on the whole eight seconds would be nice. Because eight seconds, it was it was too much. I agree. It was over buffed. Eight seconds is ridiculous. Six seconds, uh, you know, it's kind of like another item. you know. But with the build path that I'm doing, yes, it's my spike. I still need it. But now they made it 75 attack damage. You know, that's five extra attack damage. It's not more expensive. It's just five extra. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. My mid-game spike is actually going to be way, way gross. Disgusting, actually. Because once I have this item, what is going to outduel me when I have a Black Cleaver Essence Reaver? What is going to outduel that right now? If I have those two items on Renekton, 40% CDR, I have Earth Mode for six seconds. Like, yikes. With five extra attack damage? So that's going to be very cool to see. Um, could this mean I start going more Conquer more often? Which I have been trying out a lot of Conquer lately. 
Maybe. But if I go conquer, I'm hurting my early game. So you got to make those choices on how you want to play the game. Um, I do love it, though. I do love it. I expect some other champions to start picking up a little more, not just the Lucians and all that. Can help Lucian as well. Maybe I should have put that on the list. Lucian had a little buff with Essence Reaper as well, too. But, you know, it, it, when it comes down to it, though, I do like this. Um, Red has been hurting in win rate. His win rate's actually dropped quite a bit. It went from, ever since Essence Reaper got nerfed to six seconds, his win rate went from 50% to 48% just off that change alone. Because everybody's like, fuck, dude. That's where it was not as good as it was. So now you have this. Hey, man. It makes it a little better. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I do not want Red too strong. Okay? I like Red to be around a 48, 49% win rate because now I know he's probably not going to get banned. Um, the only way he's going to get banned is if his target bans. So I love that shit. I don't like 50% win rates because I, I was seeing Red into uh, just bans in general. Um, when I was off stream, I was like, fuck, this sucks, dude. But obviously, I'm streaming. Target bans are going to happen. So, But... Regardless of that, guys, I do like this essence of a change. I think it was needed. I don't think it needs any more than this. This is perfect. 75, 6 seconds. I don't think you can balance this any better. Um, but besides that, guys, that's pretty much the pad notes in general. Um, they added some skins as well. Um, they, made a, they made a Jinx skin. Hey, maybe we'll see some more Jinx. Yikes. Graves, and then also a Caitlyn skin as well. I can't wait to see those things in action. Honestly, I can't wait. Come on, out a Caitlyn skin. All right, anyways, besides the point, guys, y'all have a great day. I'll see you on my stream later. Have a good one, boys. Deuces. Can we